Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Josh, man. I want to do a quick video on ideas, man. I get countless of emails, maybe about 10 or 12 a day, um, spreading, spreading throughout all my social media platforms, but um, uh, covering various topics and whatnot. But the one heavy thing that I get daily from people who email me is, how do I get my ideas off the ground? <clears throat> how do I take an idea and get off the ground? So in this video, man, I want to talk to two types of people. I want to talk to two types of people. I want to talk to people who have no idea on how to get an idea off the ground. And I want to talk to those visionaries, those entrepreneurs, those go-getters, those visionary people, those people that's out there to get it. I want to talk to them as well on how to get and keep and stay focused on idea. Let's talk to the first person. If you're out there right now, I want you to understand this principle. Ideas without execution is pointless. An idea left to itself is not benefiting anyone, not even yourself. An idea that's left dormant is an idea that's, 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 that's selfishly hidden. It's an idea that's left to be buried. Ideas were meant to be produced. Ideas were meant to be items. And there's certain people out there that I get emails uh, from daily who's like, man, I got this book idea. I got this song idea. I don't know what to do. I tell people, man, you got to get it done. Do whatever you got to do to execute. Do whatever. Listen, listen, listen. So listen to me clearly. Nobody cares about anything incomplete. Nobody cares about the audacious boasting that comes from your mouth about what great idea you have. Nobody cares about incomplete products. People care about finished things. And I want to encourage you to go get it done. You're talking to a person man, who's relentless. I'm relentless about ideas. If I have an idea, God has to put circumstances around me to slow me down because I'm going to go get it because you only get one time at this. You don't get nine lives like a cat. I don't even think cats get nine lives. But what I'm saying is you don't get another chance at life. And what I want to encourage you today is like, get it done. Listen, if you look outside, look outside and observe the climate, these are the last of the last days, man. We're acting like, and a lot of people watching me right now are acting like you got time. Now, I, well, who knows? We may have 20 or 40 more years left, but who knows how much of an opportunity you're going to have to get it done. Listen, man, I remember back when I, in 2009 when God told me, I want you to get five books done, right? I want you to get five books done. I allowed distractions. I allowed failure. I allowed all different types of things to keep me because when I put my first book out, I was like, man, Josh, I'm about to sell about 20,000 copies. I'm about, to, I'm about to make a million. Um, it's my time. It's my time. I'm about to get it. And next thing I know, I only sold like 10 copies my first month. And that discouragement got me. That bitterness deep-rooted of God. How did you tell me? I thought this was my moment to make it. But God was like, look, man. It ain't about executing one time. It's about executing without results. Can you keep pushing with one like on your status? Could you keep pushing with one person showing up to your event? Could you keep pushing on an idea? Because God always puts the grind before the trophy. He always puts the grind before the reward. And what happens is many people look at the end and wish they can jump from now to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a big leap. Not, there's nothing in life called leaping to the end. You have to walk to the end. You got to march to the end. You got to crawl to the end. Execute. Get that book out, man. Get that album out, man. Get whatever God has placed in your heart. Take, take an idea. There's two things you got to do with an idea. Two, two things. When God gives you an idea, you got two places to put it in. And you have to be close enough to God to be able to learn the rhythm between your relationship with him. He either wants you to put your idea on the shelf or your idea in the soil. Either the soil or the shelf. Either way, God's going to be like, I gave you an idea. It's not meant for you to produce it now. I need you to put it on the shelf. Or if it's meant for you to do it right now, do not allow anything to keep you from putting it in the ground. Listen, the quicker you get into the ground, the quicker it grows. The quicker you get it into the ground, the quicker it grows. And I'm talking to a person that was like, I got a great idea, but I'm nervous. Listen, I don't care how inadequate you feel. You're talking to a guy who used to stutter through high school. You're talking to a guy who used to get picked on, who grew up in a bad home. Not a bad home, but a bad environment. You're talking to a guy that should have been statistic, but ladies and gentlemen, I'm 30 years old today, and I'm I'm out here getting it. Listen, I don't care how 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 poor the first book goes, the second book goes. Keep executing because you learn so much about yourself in the journey. I must want to talk to those go getters out there, those visionaries, those motivators. But listen, seven years in this thing, and seven years it sucked. <laughs> it sucks seeing more valleys than mountaintops. Listen, I've been doing Unplugged. I've I, I probably seen more people come and go 
I mean, I've seen in, in a lot of people's lifetime, I've seen a lot of people come in the ministry, go. I've seen a lot of things happen. Listen, I, you're going to be discouraged. You're going to fail, man. Life's about wins and lessons, not wins and losses. And I'm telling you right now, stay with it. Stay with that idea. Keep producing. Keep pushing. Stay close to God. Fight to pray. Fight to fast. Fight to seek Him. Fight to make sure you're emotionally stable. Fight. Even if you feel lonely, execute. Because you don't want your ideas to die. You don't want people to show up on a corner of your life and to see a house unbuilt. You want to see I, the haters and the celebrators will all be there watching. They may not like your post. They may not follow you, but they're watching because you have to keep pushing. Not for them. Don't do it for the crowd. Do it for yourself. Get it done, man. Execute. Don't let your ideas die, which you heard a motivational speaker say. You do not want to be in your on your deathbed and you look around your ideas saying, we hate you. We don't want, we, we despise you because we have to die with you. I call this thing residual impact, and I told this in my last video, Periscope of Facebook Live. I was like, when I die, I don't want to go to heaven and God be like, well, <clears throat> you're no good. You're no good, uh, you know, no good dead, Josh. He stops here. I want God to be like, hey, y'all, keep the numbers going. Because the videos are still out there. Keep the numbers going. Because they're still reading his books. It's called Residual Impact. Are you leaving something on the earth right now that people can still benefit from a thousand years from now? Twenty years from now? Jesus' life, death, burial, and resurrection is still impacting people's lives two thousand years later. There's people like Dr. King. There's people who did a lot of different things in society. Whether you, whether you agree with them or not, good or bad, who are people are still benefiting from today. Listen. Listen, I, no, no more times for games, man. I'm about to be the real coach now. I'm about to call me young Phil Jackson back in Jack, Phil Jackson back in the day. We gonna come, I'm going to coach you guys, man, because, listen, I'm not sitting there. I haven't made it yet. I'm still grinding. Even if I do make it, I'm still going to grind. But I want you guys to understand that God deserves ripe fruit from your life. Listen, consistency is key. Stay consistent. Number two key, excellence. Listen, do the best with what you have. If you, if you don't have the best resource for your idea, keep that idea on the shelf. Do not give God no clip art stuff. Don't give God no half done stuff. Give God your best. L listen, you know how much money I put in Unplug in the last seven years? Going, approaching 20000 now. Approaching twenty, but maybe about eighteen, nineteen thousand dollars. I, in my own money, invest. Don't expect people to invest in your idea if you're not willing to invest in your idea. Listen, have I reaped the fruit or the reward from my investment? Not yet. But the beautiful thing about my investment, my investment shouldn't be tallied by how much money I get from it. It should be tallied by how many people I've impacted. Because if you touch people and you touch their hearts, you don't ever, if you help people get to where they got to go, you don't have to worry about people helping you get to where you got to go. Ideas are puns. Some of y'all have been sleeping on your idea for the last three years. Do you not know time you can't get back? Do you not know that windows of opportunity do close? There are certain people right now living with regrets instead of living with their rewards. There's people living with regret right now, but not living with their reward. I refuse to be married with two or three kids. I refuse to be 40 and 50 looking back at my life regretting. I want to be living life eating the fruit of my rewards because I put the hard work in now. You're in your 20s right now. Put the hard work in. You in your 30s. Put the hard work in. You 40. You 50. Put the hard work in now. People act like God don't demand hard work. He does. God wants you to work hard. God wants you to work relentless. He wants you to go get it. He wants you to go make it happen. He wants you to go do it because you his son. He says greater works you would do. But many of us are waiting on God. We're waiting on God to make it happen. God's like you go make it happen. Man, I'm about to, uh, listen, man, I'm 30 years old. I don't have time to waste. I love you guys too much to give you half-done stuff, man. I want to encourage you guys. Do not allow, do not let your ideas die. Give your ideas life through execution. Give your ideas life through execution. Will it be easy? No, if it was easy, everyone would do it. It's tough, yo. I got to go preach tonight. It's tough. I'm tired, man. I got about four or five hours of sleep, man, because I, I got a big meeting next week. I got another meeting this week. Man, man, people, you know, yes, I get my sleep. I, sh I probably should get more sleep, but, man, it's like, man, I only get one time at bat, man. 
And I'm not sitting there saying you lose your sleep, but I'm saying be smart, be vigilant, be disciplined, be consistent, and go get it done. Do not let your ideas die due to no execute, due to no execution. Give your ideas life and by execution. And I want to talk to that first group one more time. I don't care what happy birthday, Josh. I wish you many glories. Well, it ain't my birthday. My birthday, December 31st. Uh, but thank you for that. That that, that you, you I'm gonna make it to 31. I appreciate that love, Arthur. Appreciate that, bro. Or bro, yeah. So what I want to say, to you guys, the first group, man, listen, don't look at your inadequacies, don't look at your fears, don't look at your frustrations. Take one step in that fear. You overcome fear by stepping into it. That second group of people, man, who are entrepreneurs, go get it, go get it. Keep going. Don't look at the results. Don't look at the failures. Failures are not failures. Uh, what's, that, what's that dude named Thomas Edison? Failed a thousand times for the light bulb. You're going to fail more times than you see, but you learn more about, your, about yourself and your failures. Keep pushing. I love you guys. I'm looking at the comments box. I'm looking for questions. What you, some, what you, what you, yeah, what you do in your 30s, you reap in your 50s. Any questions before I go, man? I got to go work on my message today. I'm going to be talking. If you're in Charlotte, man, come holler at me. 36, 46 Central Avenue. I'm talking about resistance. Resistance is proof you're going in the right direction. A lot of people turn away at the moment they feel resistance, but resistance, either you're going to uh, learn from resistance or you're going to let the resistance move, you're going to let the resistance mold you. So if you're in the Charlotte area, you want to come hear me live, 3646 Central Avenue, doors open at 7, I'm plus or 730. I'm going to work on my message a little bit more. I can't wait to deliver it. But if there's no comments in the box below, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep it moving. Maybe hopefully I can take a nap, cut my hair. But what I was going to say, hey, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, Follow me everywhere at my coach Josh. Go to YouTube, type in Joshua Ezzy. You can watch all my YouTube videos there. But I'm going to go ahead and go, man. I love you guys. Keep pushing. Keep getting it. Just because you're a Christian, man. Just because you're uh, 16. Just because you're young. Just because whatever your excuse is. Oh, who cares? Get it done. Because God is tallying what you're doing in this body. Love you guys. Peace.